Aola, a voice AI innovator, is raising a funding round to advance breakthrough technology that transforms voice into value. What if speaking to AI felt as natural as simply breathing? Today, we speak with Amir Haramadi, the visionary behind Aola, about the inspiration, milestones, and future of this groundbreaking company. So I'm a serial problem solver. This is my sixth one, uh, sixth startup. Uh, I've done multiple interesting companies. And the reason I call it problem solver is because I don't believe in entrepreneurship for entrepreneurship's sake. It's about identifying big problems, building an incredible team, building uh, technology that never been built before and mostly generates value for our clients. That's what I've been doing over and over again. Uh, deep into AI for the last decade, long before A and I became the most used and abused letters in the English language at present time. Uh, six years actually working with one of the largest management consulting companies uh, where I had a chance to serve with them in more than three-digit client engagement with Fortune 1000, where I had a unique view and courtside city, if you will, to see what's working, what's not working, when the big promise of AI is meeting traditional enterprises. And it was not a pretty sight. This vision became the foundation of Ayala's mission to push the boundaries of what voice technology can achieve, creating solutions that not only understand words, but capture meaning, emotion, and intent. It's a mission that drives innovation and shapes every step of the company's journey. It's amazing because, you know, everything we got used to in life, it's 10 times, 20 times faster now. You know, the cycles are so much shorter. But at the end of the day, it's all about common sense and basic foundational components. So what happened with LLMs, it's incredible. Um, but when it comes to speech specifically, if I try to oversimplify, the big guys are using brute force to constantly boil the ocean and then narrow down to your specific problems. And then I realize, like, why do I need to boil the ocean in order to make coffee? All I need is that much water. So we came a complete different approach. And we say, we don't need to train data. And we're very proud of it, especially when you talk about the investment community. A few weeks ago, I met with one of the leading investment bankers in Silicon Valley. And he said, I'm here, your foundational model company, which we are. And he asked me, how much money you raised to date? And I said, less than 60, 58 million. He said, Amir, you're missing a zero. You don't have a foundational model unless you spend or invest hundreds of millions of dollars. So we managed to do it with less than 60 million, which is quite an achievement. The roadmap ahead is as ambitious as it is transformative focusing on advancements that will make Eola's voice AI even faster, smarter, and more adaptable across industries. It's a glimpse into a future where seamless human-machine communication becomes the standard. Partnerships have been another driving force behind Iola's growth, enabling the company to scale faster, access new markets, and integrate its technology into diverse ecosystems. Two weeks ago, we announced the partnership with uh, United Airlines. United realized that despite, you know, not only the, the, the largest airline in the world with 1,047 aircraft, the biggest asset is the data in their daily operations. And that data they have over there is not captured, it's not structured. From early prototypes to large-scale deployments, each milestone has marked a leap forward in making voice AI a practical, everyday tool. These achievements are not just checkpoints. They're proof of Iola's vision turning into reality. You know, it used to be a time when uh, people actually, the psychological barrier were quite big, especially because some companies say, oh, I'm so far behind, there's no way I'm going to catch up. Okay? Actually, I believe AI gives us a golden opportunity to fast track, which means in the past, you know, you had to build a data lake or data swamp or whatever, you don't need. You know, it doesn't matter where you are in a maturity level. You can benefit from that tomorrow morning, regardless. I'm working right now with a large uh, pharmaceutical client, and it's a multinational that was uh, growing by mergers and acquisitions. So I'm working with their um, U.S. factory, I'm working with their Brazil factory, and I'm working with the Indonesia factory. And the U.S. factory is fully integrated, the state-of-the-art ERP grid. The Brazil one is integrated only to uh, visualization, to Power BI, and Indonesia all they have right now is Excel spreadsheets. And despite the diversity, the different maturity level, 
each one of them can get benefit of this technology tomorrow morning. So it's almost like the great equalizer. It doesn't matter what's your maturity. It doesn't matter uh, what industry. It doesn't matter what language. Speech AI will generate greater data than you ever had tomorrow morning. From vision to innovation, Eola's story is a testament to how technology can bring us closer to the future we once only imagined. A future where speaking to AI feels natural, understanding is effortless, and possibilities are limitless.